Hi everyone, this lesson is about zero and first conditional. Zero and first conditionals can be about truths, probabilities, future consequences, or promises and warnings. When I'm too tired to cook, I order takeout. This is a zero conditional sentence. If I'm too tired to cook tonight, I'll order some takeout. This is a first conditional sentence. These two sentences are very similar, but there is a difference in meaning between the two. Can you identify the difference? Which one is a general truth? Which one is a likely probability? The first one is a general truth. And the second one is a likely probability. How to use zero conditional? Expressing general truths. We can use the zero conditional to show or express a general truth. To do this, we use the present simple in both clauses. For example, if you heat ice, it melts. Tip. With the zero conditional, we often replace if with when. For example, when or if I drink too much coffee, I get a headache. Talking about routines. We can also use zero conditional structure to talk about our routines. Routines are things that we do regularly. For example, when I wake up, I always drink coffee first. When he goes to school, he rides his bicycle. When I arrive in class, I hang my coat first. Let's look at first conditional now. Probabilities. Can you predict with 100% certainty what will happen tomorrow? Do you always know exactly what will happen in the future? My guess is no. We can't tell the future with 100% certainty, but we can express that we think something is very likely to happen or is probable. The first conditional form shows us something is likely to happen in the future or very likely in the future based on a present situation or event. Another helpful way to think of this is a real situation or event. Sometimes we refer to the first conditional as the real conditional. For example, if it snows a lot tomorrow, this is the present situation. The city will cancel school. And this is the future probability. We are not 100% certain that the city will cancel school, but it is likely. We use the future tense, the city will cancel school, to show that we are talking about a probable result in the future, and it is real. Here are two more examples. If it rains tomorrow, I will not go on my hike. If we complete this project under budget, the customer will be thrilled. Future consequences. Sometimes a present situation or event can have a future consequence. These consequences may be positive or negative. For example, pizza sounds amazing for dinner, but if I eat it, I'll feel terrible about it in the morning. The future negative consequence is I'll feel terrible about it. Sure, salads seem boring sometimes, but if I eat something healthy, I'll sleep better. This is a future positive consequence. If we don't complete this project on time, the teacher will be very upset. No one likes to make their teacher upset. This is definitely a future negative consequence.
promises and warnings. If you cook dinner tonight, I will do the dishes. This is an example of a promise. I will do all my homework now if you let me stay up late. This is another promise. If you do that one more time, I won't let you go to the party tomorrow night. This is a warning. If you don't pay now, we will cancel your subscription. Another warning. The first conditional is great for making promises to others or giving a warning. For example, if you don't pay now, we will cancel your subscription. This is a warning to a client or a customer. It also has a much more professional sound to it. Here are some classroom examples. If we don't complete this project on time, we'll get a bad grade. If you give me the red pen, I will give you my blue marker. We will do all the group work if you agree to be quiet and let us work. That's a promise. Now, think about your daily life and answer these questions. What truths or routines can you share using zero conditional? What probabilities, consequences, promises, or warnings can you use for your daily life or school with the first conditional? Write down a couple examples in the comment section of my blog to practice, and I will provide you with some feedback. That's it. That's the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.